everyone, it is Michelle, your Chocotour Independent Designer. Today I wanted to start working on spring. It's gonna be here very, very soon. But look at this flower market transfer. Let's design this together. Say hi as you come in and let's chalk. <laughs> Welcome to my live. I am so excited that you're able to join me. We are gonna have so much fun. Say hi as you come in so I know that you're here. If you are new and are not currently working with the designer, please just comment the word newbie and I will make sure to send you some Chocotour information. If you're watching the replay, hi. So what is Chocotour? We are a fun high-end DIY home decor company used to make different gifts and decorations from your home on a budget. So Chocotour has so many fun products. We have our Chalkology Chalk Paste, which is great for chalkboards where you can design and repeat as much as you like. We also have Couture Ink, so you can make permanent on fabrics or glass or ceramics. We have hundreds of reusable silkscreen transfers, lots of fun tools, and a full assortment of different surfaces for all of your projects. You wanna make sure you join my Chalkaholic VIP group this is where there's so much more fun and there's specials. You can also sign up for a workshop. I love to hold workshops and share my love of Chalk Couture. We also have Club Couture. This is a fun mail subscription where you get an exclusive transfer and chalk paste sent to your home every month for the low price of $19.99. You can also host your own private party, get your friends and family together and make your own projects. You can also become a designer and start your own empire. There's so many different ways with Chalk Couture to make money. If you are excited about any of these things, please just send me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So don't forget, in my Chocoholic VIP group, if you post a picture of your finished project, you'll be entered in a drawing for a free transfer every month. How exciting is that? So without further ado, let's go on and let's chalk this project. Thank you so much for helping me and let's chalk. Hello everyone. Hey Julie, how are you doing? What are you up to this weekend? Um, hopefully you had a great weekend, everybody. We are going to look at this flower market transfer. I thought that I knew what I wanted to do with it because I wanted it to be in the middle of my mantle. Um, but now I'm looking at it and I'm not sure if that's where I want it to go, but I still want to design it. Um, initially I was gonna put it on our new outside of the box. You know, the one that has the different um, inserts like this. Hey Tammy, and I was gonna put it on here, but then for some reason I thought, well maybe I want to put it on our Aiden. Um, and then I thought, well maybe I'll make a pudgy and make the bicycle 3D. Then I thought, no, that's just too much. Um, but then I thought it would look really good on the natural side of this board. Then I thought, well, I could put the chalkboard insert. But the thing is, I also wanted to have these on a floating shelf and I didn't want all three of them to be on the same frame. Um, I know, isn't this like the worst decision ever? And then um, I found this old retired transfer that I absolutely love that says, hello spring. And I thought, well, maybe that should be in the center with the flowers but my beaded round has not come yet. I'm actually supposed to get a package today, it said, from Chocotour. And I'm wondering if the beaded round um, is what's coming. Um, so I don't know. But I figured, let's go ahead and do the bicycle. If the transfers are reusable, so we can do it again and again and again on whatever surface we want to. So I went ahead and sprayed this with water. I thought this was so darn cute and I'm gonna, this has been on here since Halloween. <laughs> hey Christy, how are you doing? How's that pup pup doing? I can't wait for the beat. I know, Tammy, how you doing? Hi Tammy, um, two Tammies. Um, but yes, my beaded round was supposed to be here today and I think I'm gonna put that Hello Spring on there. But the whole point of my day right now was I wanted to make something um, for March 1st and then I thought oh my gosh this year is just so bizarre because I feel like Easter's coming early we have St. Patrick's Day and I made a wreath for my door for St. Patrick's Day but 
Easter is only two weeks after St. Patrick's Day this year. So if I put up St. Patrick's Day, that only gives me two weeks to show off my Easter. And I thought, that's okay. Two weeks for Easter, and then we'll just make everything spring. Um, you know, for the two weeks. So the bunny, I got this bunny sculpture. <laughs> That's going to go out front. And then I have one of those bistro style chalkboards that I got from um, the craft store. And I've never used it. And I've had it for a couple of years. Um, and I thought, well, maybe. I have one in brown. And then I have one that actually has lights that I used to take to my vendor events when I did them. So I don't know. I don't know. There's so many possibilities. Um of things to make and do. It's overwhelming, especially at the change of the season. This is like the funnest time to create because right now I still have um, winter up on my mantle because my boys are still snowboarding. Um, but you know what, you guys know I don't love winter. Thanks for asking, he's getting bigger by the day. Oh my gosh, you guys have no idea how cute Christy's little Rottweiler pup pup is. Oh, so cute. Slim, right? Is that his name? Is his name Slim? I think that's what I remember. I don't know. I didn't get to hold him because my terror of dogs were, you know, if for those of you that have met Winston, like I know Julie has, um, he's part kangaroo and he can really jump high. <laughs> Look at all this paste on here from that. I'm going to go ahead and grab a board eraser. If you don't have a board eraser, these are perfect for cleaning your boards, cleaning your transfers. You see this? It's kind of like a um, Mr. Clean eraser without any chemicals in it. And it's perfect for just getting all of that residue off. Watch. I'm just going to erase all of this. Mm. Hopefully you guys are in the VIP group. Um, we're gonna be starting a fun blockbuster bash this week. I always love these fun little um, events and I'm hoping that you guys do too. <laughs> All right, let's go in there. So if you're not in the VIP, I, VIP group, let me know. Um, or if you're on YouTube like Christy is right now, um, it's in, It'll be in the description. I have to actually edit the video after it posts because we're live, but I'll put the um, the link to get to the VIP group so you can play along, try to get some um, fun prizes. I love prizes. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right. I don't know what's on my board over here, but it didn't go off. It's like little droplets or something. I don't know what that is. I must have dripped something on it at one time because it's not coming off. <laughs> but that is okay. All right. Yes, Slim. So cute. And so funny because he, he's this tiny, tiny little dog, but you can tell by his paws he's not going to stay that way. <sighs> All right. All right, here we go. I think this is good enough. This is our Aiden board. This is our porcelain steel magnetic board. So this is perfect for those simple shapes, um, for pudgies, if you like pudgies. This is the kind of surface that's 12 by 18. That's perfect because you can use our chalk -tour magnets and attach your simple shapes if you want to, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and open. I'm gonna move that surface. I think this is so pretty and so springy. And then I'm just gonna get my buzzing cloth here. And then I'm going to fold it halfway down, put it on my fuzzing cloth and then roll. Hi, Charlotte. This way I don't stick any of the sticky to the sticky because the transfer is brand new and we don't want it to stretch. We want it to be good for several uses. There's not a whole lot of screen on this transfer. Um, 
There's some words on here. It says flower market established 1905. What does it say? It says um, seed bulbs and potted plants, fresh cut flowers open daily. And there's that cute bicycle. All right. And then I feel like this is still really, I mean the Aiden board is, um, almost like glass it is smooth it's not like our boutique surface where it has the little bumps and lumps <laughs> it is like a window so make sure that you definitely fuzz your transfer enough fuzzing just means that we are softening that adhesive on the back so that your um, surface and this transfer are protected from curling when you're done or sticking to your transfer or pulling off any paint or if you have a less quality board your chalk paint might be spray painted on and may lift off um because of the adhesive all right i kind of see a piece of lint under my r so i'm gonna go down here and see if I can get that off. It's actually more underneath. I do love that these new transfers are so transparent that I can see, but then it's so transparent that sometimes it can be hard for me to see. <laughs> so good and bad for the seeing. It might just be my old eyes. All right, there we go. So there is a frame that goes all the way around and I'm just making sure that I don't have any air bubbles because even though there's not a whole lot of screen, it's like a continuous screen. There we go. And then we have the words there. All right, so I think we're gonna start um, actually, hey Teresa, what are you, hey Rebecca. What are you guys up to this weekend? Okay, so now you know for a fact that bright white's gonna be a part of this. I think I'm gonna do that as part of the outside. And then I do wanna pull in, what color bicycle is, is what my dilemma is here. Um, I didn't even think about it because I'm putting this on a black surface um, how do you sprinkle? There's a share button, Rebecca, that you hit the share button and it'll count it as a sprinkle if you hit the share button. Um, I've really been loving the berry. Um, so the problem is here, the bicycle tires. Oh, you went to another, you, you are we going to one next weekend, Teresa? Um, You know what, we could always use Disco for the bicycle part. I don't know, I might have to pull up a picture. It seems so easy when you're putting this on a different color background that's white, because you can make the bicycle dark. Hold on. I'm just gonna pull up the, for inspiration. <laughs> for inspiration, I'm just gonna pull up the one that's on the chalk site while Teresa tells us this. I'm actually worried now, Teresa, because um, my son's basketball team's in the playoffs Tuesday night, and I, I'm worried that if they win, um, that um, their next game might be on Saturday, and then I won't be able to come, because he's definitely, I'm not going to miss his um, championship game, right? All right, let's see. And I paid a lot of money to be there even though you're standing me up in the morning, as I understand, right? <laughs> oh, thank you, Rebecca. Yes, I do have a sprinkle box here. When you sprinkle, you do get put in the box. Um, and then we draw names and you get some happy mail. I have some happy mail for you, Rebecca, right over here. And I have an envelope here for Christy that needs to be postaged. Um, I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna look, cause I'm sure flower market. 
Oh my gosh, you guys, we're not going to do flower market today, are we? It looks like, oh no, good. Phew, I thought it was out of stock, but that's the other flower market one. Um, I didn't even check to see if this was flower, what'd I say? Market? Okay, this one is not out of stock. Um, yeah, they have it on a... It looks like they actually did the, um, they did the watercolor technique on, uh, should we do that? Should we change gears and do the same thing? But then I feel like we should do it on, um, the wood. This is wood. Okay, guys, change, change 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 so this is the out of the box um surface so these have interchangeable insides okay now what we have is whitewash wood and then we have um natural wood and then we also have a chalkboard dun, 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 dun. we have a chalkboard insert that's the wrong size. I'm gonna show you guys the chalkboard insert. But it looks like, and I really love the sample that they did in the catalog, but they did the watercolor technique that I love. And it looks like they, I can't tell if they did the chalkboard or if they did um, the wood, but I kind of like the wood. We, we'll probably just need to wax it if we wanna use it. But this is the other insert. That is a boutique um, chalkboard. Let me show you guys. This is so cool. All right. So it is a black chalkboard on one side, a white chalkboard on the other. Um, but let's go ahead and use this. I'm not even gonna wax it because I don't know if you can wax if you're doing a watercolor technique, if the watercolor will stay. So we're gonna go ahead and use, I'm gonna go ahead and peel my transfer off of here, of my Aiden. Oh my gosh, I um, accidentally stuck my transfer underneath the frame part, so it kind of curled up the edge. But that's okay, because it's not a part that's chalkable. And then let's kind of change gears and put it on here. And we'll have to make sure that, that looks like a Winston hair on here. Um, make sure all the lint is off. Bubble is trouble, don't forget that. There we go. And we're just gonna put this right on here. Oh no, that's not Winston hair, those are from palms. <laughs> those are from pom-poms for making animals. I can tell now that I have it all the way down. Okay, so what we're gonna do is pick out our colors. Um, like I said, I've been really into like the, the, the berries, <laughs> the berry. Oh, now I'm debating of doing that in disco, but I do think we're going to get out our black velvet and we're going to do the border. So, cause it kind of looks like wood in the black velvet. Um, and then flower market, I think we'll use the berry. I know. Who am I? Who am I? Um, and then we're going to actually use the watercolor technique and maybe like the basket, um, we're going to make into like a couture teal. We'll add different colors in here, but let's go ahead and do the outline part because we are going to have to wash the transfer after we do it and let it dry so that we can do the watercolor technique. Um, but let's go ahead and get our berry 
in our black velvet. Let's see here. Um, all right, I'm just trying to get my thoughts together on what I want to do. I'll put this back. So we're going to do um, Barry there. Um, black and black. Black. We're going to do the outline of the bicycle in black velvet because we're going to do the watercolor technique for all the parts that are not um, done. We'll, I'll show you how to do that. And then we'll do this. Do you guys like those two together, Barry and Couture Teal? Because I think I'm going to do... The seeds, bulbs, and pattern, pattern, potted plants in, in the teal. All right. Um, this is a one-time background. If you're not sure what colors you want to use, you can definitely use the chalk background. That way you know what you're getting into. But let's go ahead. I'm going to take my berry, and I'm just going to go ahead and do these words here. Um... And if I was not doing the watercolor technique on this, I probably would have waxed this with my surface waxed from um, Chocotour. But let's go ahead and there's so many different distress marks in here. I'm trying to make sure that I don't accidentally turn them purple. All right, so then we're gonna go like this. And what other part did I say it was going to do? The fresh cut flowers. So even if this doesn't end up being the main focal point of the mantle, that beaded round is definitely going to be a showstopper. This might just be on one of the shelves because you know there are four shelves so I could do this one those flower ones and then choose another one okay so there's our berry now because I'm slow and I'm talking I am going to do the paste and peel method so I'm going to pull this up to let my paste transfer through oh that's gorgeous it has that really cool distressed look I might have missed a spot at the bottom of that W. So when I put it down, I am going to, I can't, I don't think I missed a spot. I think it's actually supposed to be that way after I see it, but we'll try to push more through. Yeah, it's supposed to be that way. Intentional. All right. And then I'm not going to touch where I chalked, but I am going to come down here. And then we are going to transfer that one through. Oh, this is so pretty. What a pretty color. This is berry that I'm using. There we go. Love that cut. Isn't it pretty, Rebecca? And then I'm just going to let it fold back down. Now I am going to come up here and I'm going to press down where I have not chalked yet. Okay. I'm not going to press down where I did chalk because I don't want to smear anything through the silk screen. So I'm just gonna go, cause remember bubble is trouble. Bubble is trouble. We don't want a bubble. There we go. Um, let's go ahead and take care of our teal and that's gonna be the seed bulbs and potted plants. Oh, this is so springy already. This is gonna be really pretty. And we're just gonna do this section here. These are not typical Michelle colors. You guys know for some reason, things have changed with my color selections. I kind of like it. Not that I didn't like them before, it's just in my home, I didn't. I was not very colorful. Everything was gray, um, you know, not a lot of color. But maybe the spring has, I got the spring bug, I don't know. There we go, and then, now the rest of this, every single rest of the piece, we're gonna do in black velvet, and then we're gonna do the watercolor technique. So watch, I'm gonna go ahead and just 
do all of this. Just a dapple do ya. That. You can see all these little distress marks. I want to get all of it. Make sure there's no bubble in there. And remember, if you're using colors like black velvet, your transfer might stain, but it's okay. It's still usable. As long as you don't have ink that dries in your screen, you're going to be fine. You can use etching cream. You could use wood burning cream. You could use um, your ink and your paste on all of this. Ooh, did I go off the board? I don't know. That was really close. If I didn't, I'll be surprised, but hopefully I can peel this up and enough time to wipe it off with a board eraser. I'll just get all of this. I feel like there was an air bubble. I haven't chalked all week, so maybe I forgot how. I'm just kidding. You can see this is all super easy. And we're just doing the whole thing because we're going to be doing what's called the water technique on here. So what we want is almost like making a coloring ditto. Am I aging myself if I say the word ditto? Did you guys ever have to do dittos for your teachers at school? We did dittos when I was in school. <laughs> I don't think my son knows what the word ditto means. I think it, he, to him it just means me too. But we know what a ditto is, right? <sighs> get all of those wood markings. This makes it look really vintage. And then what we're going to have to do is while you guys talk amongst yourselves, I'm going to take this right to the sink here and I'm going to wash the paste off because we're going to have to re-outline the bicycle after we do the watercolor technique. But let's Peel and reveal. I'm gonna do this side because I think it went off the side. Oh, I didn't, good. And then we'll just go long ways out. Oh my goodness, I love it. I'm hoping I don't get any paste where I don't want it. I may have to redo that blue. It looks like my teal started to dry in my screen. But it's okay. So this is what we have so far. It's not as um, dark there because yes, it looks like it dried a little bit on my screen. But when we do our outline here, we can just go back over that. So I'm just gonna, how beautiful is this to start with? So hold on, I'm just gonna take this over to the sink. Type in the comments here what you're looking forward to most this week and I can read them when I come back. And I'm just using my board eraser and going over all of that paste. That was a lot of paste on here. And I'm just getting all of this paste, which is a lot. Here. I really only need to do the bike, but I'm going to redo that um, teal section because it dried because I took too long. And I'm just using this board eraser front and back.
Now I'm just gonna leave my transfer on this sink to start to dry and then we'll speed up the drying process. Nobody put in there what they are looking forward to this weekend, this week. Really, no one's looking forward to a new week? Nobody? I'm gonna go ahead and take this and dry. And I have some color trays here we're going to use. There we go. Okay. So I am going to bring in more of, oh my gosh, their sample is so pretty. You know what? Okay, we're going to put the black velvet there. Um, I'm just going to grab a couple of paintbrushes. And you could definitely use the artist tool set. Our little pointed squeegee here um, is really good at doing the watercolor technique because it's almost like a little squeegee. But I am gonna use some little brushes that I just got from um, the store. And then I'm gonna get a color tray. And I'm going to put a little spray of water in there. Um, and I am gonna do some of the Couture Coral, but I'm going to use the brush and kind of make like a little chalk paint, just mixing this with water. I have a crop on Saturday. Oh, awesome. I'm going to one also with Teresa. Maybe. I say maybe because we'll see if Ezra's team goes to the championships. They haven't won a lot of games lately, so but I don't wanna wish them not to do well. All right, so I have the teal, and I want a teal basket. So when you are doing watercolor, you don't have to be concerned if you get it on the um, black chalk, because we're gonna be going back over it. But what you wanna be concerned about is you don't want to smear the black chalk into your fresh paint, or paste that you're painting with, and make it like um, blended with the black. So I like to do short little strokes, just enough to color in, because when we put the outline back over, um, it's going to outline it again for you, so you don't have to stay in the lines. Okay, we're gonna do the basket um, in the teal, and maybe even like the bicycle seat so yeah, if you have an artist tool set, this is um, a perfect job for that tool set. There we go. I'm kind of um, trying to decide if I want to use Disco to do the little pieces of the frame of the bike or make it teal as well. What do you think? I guess I'm just always looking for a reason to use Disco. I'm gonna do the seat and I'm just kind of Dabbing it in. And when we do that, um, that's awesome. I haven't tried that technique yet. Oh, Rebecca, it's so much fun. All right, so there is that one. And then for the flowers, I do want some brightness in here. I'm gonna bring some yellow. I like yellow flowers, so we'll do, I'm just gonna put a little bit of yellow just a dab will do you. Um, if you don't add too much water, you could always um, put it back in your jar. And even if you do have some water, put it back in your jar. That'll keep your paste from, from drying out, especially if you are coming up on the summer and spring where it's warmer. All right, so I'm just mixing this. Oh, disco, you think we should do disco? And for the yellow, I 
I'm going to put it in these flowers up here and do the petals in yellow. This really um, adds a lot of dimension. And of course, if you did not want to do this, it's not necessary. Just chalk and be done with it. This is just a fun technique that you can do if you want to. And then we'll come up here. It just adds a little more color. And for those of you that like a little extra <laughs> with your crafting, there we go. So we'll do that yellow there. I put way too much in here. Maybe we'll also, we'll see. Because I do want some um, Marvelous. Actually, I want peony. We're gonna do pink. I'm gonna do pink and do like those bigger flowers there. I'm gonna put even less of the pink because a little bit goes such a long way. Chrissy says definitely disco. Okay, yay. So this is peony, pink, just a dab. Look at that. I just put a tiny bit and this is enough to like paint the whole board. It will not go to waste. You can put it back in the jar. And then I'm gonna make these, Are, these might be peonies, but I don't know my flowers. <laughs> but, You don't even have to be perfect. That and that. Well, I kind of like those flowers there, but we're gonna do some green there. Um, I kind of want like current jam. That's been my jam lately. That's Napa. Here's current jam. No, where's my? Here it is. And what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna take current jam and add it to this pink and make my own little color for those rose looking flowers. Cause I just want it to be darker than the peony and I don't need to dirty another tray. <laughs> I'm just gonna mix all of that in. And then, oh, that's really pretty. I'm just gonna go in those flowers. Go in those flowers. And you may be thinking, oh, she's messing it up. But wait until you see when we do the outline back over top. It just really makes everything come alive. There. I can't tell if that is a flower. I think that's more of the leafy stuff. All right. Um, so then I am going to go to my, um, this is called Moss. Hey Pam, how you doing? We're doing the watercolor technique on this picture and I'm going to just go right from the jar and do some of these leaves here. just to give it a little pop of color there. I feel like this needs to have some yellow. And then so 
some of these leaves. Like that. Mm. that um and then you know what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna take some of this yellow and mix some of it in here thank you Pam I'm gonna put more pink in here too I wasn't sure if this was a flower right there, but I want it to be just a little bit lighter than the one around it. I have like a stray hair on my brush that I don't wanna <laughs> go anywhere else. This brush still had some pink on it. I want some pink there and there. Oh, it's turning out so pretty. Okay, and then what we talked about was Disco. Let me get another slim brush. I'm gonna close the peony. Disco. Pesto. Here's Disco. We're going to close this one up. Close all the colors. All right, so we're going to take this here and I'm going to do. Some of the parts of the bike oh that's so pretty because it's nice and shimmery and i'm just going to color in the bicycle and again if you go over any of the black velvet it's okay because we're going to outline it again oh that's really cool it looks like metal <laughs> maybe that's why it's called disco <laughs> sorry if you guys missed out on disco i know it's gone but I am hoping that it turns into part of the regular lineup because it is gorgeous. And I'm just doing all of the pieces here. I'm going to do the petal down here. And then we're going to do I'm actually going to color in that's so cool <laughs> I love that do you guys love how this just hey Vanessa how you doing okay there's just a few more spots that I want to do in the disco the chain do parts of that I'm trying to decide if I want to put gray in the tires, but I think that's going to be too close to disco. So I'm just going to leave it alone. There. 
Okay. So there's Disco. I'm going to remove all of the brushes to the sink. I'm going to move this out of the way because we're going to have to dry off um, the transfer so we can do the outline. So let me throw these in the sink. And how I like to dry it is I'm going to put a fuzzing cloth with the microfiber side up. That's the less fuzzy side. And just go like this. And then I'm going to sandwich it with another one. And just dry it off here. You don't want any wetness on there or else it can make your um, paste come off. Remember, our paste are water soluble. how sticky that is and then I'm just going to make sure that and the only parts I really have to do are the bicycle um, but I am going to do that seeds bulbs and potted plants because I was so slow with the couture teal that I think we could get a better transfer out of that if I redo that part so this is just the microfiber side I still want to fuzz it so I am going to turn it to the terry cloth side which is what's gonna give us that lint and soften that adhesive, okay? All right. So this is dry and refuzzed, but you know what? Since we did watercolor, that put some thick paste on there. Let's just run the dryer over it to make sure that it's all dry because we definitely don't want it to lift up with that adhesive. Especially the shimmers and the metallics. They do take a little longer to dry. like it's dry. So here you can see that it looks really cute, but we lost some of the definition, especially in the basket. Look at the before. And then in those flowers, we've lost that definition. So we're going to put the definition back in just by lining up our, um, our transfer again. Um, I was trying to line it up with the teal at the bottom, but it really is nice and see-through. I want to make sure that it's as close as possible. I'm shocked at how the teal is not as precise. And then we're just going to make sure, you know, bubble is trouble. I don't feel like I, I'm doing a good job. Hold on. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm doing a good job. Let's do a better job. It's because I'm looking at too many parts at the same time. There we go. Better. All right, so I'm gonna make sure we have no bubbles over that bike. I'm gonna go ahead and um, get that couture teal. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the paste and, no, I'm not. I don't think we need a paste and peel because we're not doing as much as we did last time. Maybe we will, just because, you know, I've been slow. I think it's because I'm getting older. <laughs> I 
All right, let's see if that, we'll go ahead and peel that up. Make sure we got a better transfer through that time because we're going to not let it dry. Oh yes, big difference. See that big difference from before? Did I not go over the P? Okay. And then we're gonna just go ahead and grab our black velvet. And we're gonna go back over to do our outline again. We wanna get all that definition back in our project. Again, this is called the watercolor technique where we did the base layer and any of the negative space or those open areas, we just took our chalk paste and painted them in. And then we put our transfer back over to outline it again so that we have the details in there again. So you don't have to be perfect with your watercolor painting. You don't have to stay in the lines, <laughs> unless it's something that shows, of course. All right, and then let's, oh wow, 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 wow. It put all the detail in the flowers and the basket. <laughs> I'm just gonna lay this on the sink and then I'm gonna show you a little closer after we dry it. So if you remember before, the basket didn't have any definition but now you could even see the centers of the flowers are standing out. The bike seat has the detail in it. The pedal has the detail. All of the disco is outlined. Um, our flowers are outlined. Let's dry it. Let's dry. I love it too, Vanessa. Thank you. All right. I do think that it's gonna change. Thanks, Rebecca. Thanks, Teresa. All right. So now we have this. Now I'm gonna show you guys. Um, this is our um, drop-in frame or out of the box frame. Is that what it's called? Out of the box frame. And it doesn't matter which way you put it in. I'm just gonna slide this right into place. And then now you have, look how beautiful that is. Um, and again, you have this surface. You could flip it over and do the natural surface. These are one time only with the surface. But we do have an insert that's chalkboard, white on one side and black on the other. And the beaded round that's coming also is white on one side and black on the other. So isn't this beautiful? It is gorgeous. Should we do one more? We probably shouldn't, right? This has almost been an hour. <laughs> I'll save the next one for another day. But how beautiful is this? Um, the plan is to have a lot of um, spring floral all around, um, and this says flower market, so it'll have different floral flowers around it. Um, isn't that going to be so pretty? I love it. I love it so much. Oh, gosh. I love it even more in the frame. I'm glad that we chose this over the Aiden. Even though I love the Aiden, um, this just gives it, because it has like a vintage tone to it, and I think the, the wood of this, gives it that same. All right. 
a little closer so you guys can see the watercolor technique in the bike. I love the colors. <laughs> okay, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. I will post a picture of this and um, I will see you next